good morning, good afternoon, and good night, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Games, Games, Games. Today, again, I'm on Academics doing something a little bit different, though. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to practice telling time, all right? Some of you are going to find this very difficult. It is telling time on an analog clock. Now, there's two different time games in Academics. There's the giraffe pull which is essentially you have to know time phrases like quarter after 12, quarter to nine, um, half past. But we're just going to play the analog clock, reading an analog clock game, and I'm going to play it. And I'm going to tell you this game is difficult. It's difficult even for me. The reason why is because analog clocks are no longer everywhere. When I was a child, everyone had an analog clock. Not many people had digital clocks. Now. Everyone's got a clock on their cell phone, a clock on their TV, a digital clock on their microwave, on their oven. So there aren't analog clocks, but it's still important to know how to tell time on an analog clock because essentially an analog clock is like a sundial. And that's how time, that's how we measure time as humans. I went a little deep there, but yeah. Uh, let's be the red giraffe. Uh, giraffe dash, yeah. Start game. You're going to see. This gets a little difficult. If it's too hard for you, don't worry about it. Try a different game. Oh, so this would be 11. So the shorthand is past 11. 15. Five minute increments there. So past the one. So it's going to be 145. This one, 245. They're all in 15 minute increments, which is a little bit nice. 730. Here we got. It's not past the 10 yet, so it's still 9.45. I might accelerate here just because I have a hard time losing. But 6.15. There we go. This would be 6.30. This one, uh, 11. This one is 12. Oh, oh, man, I switched the short hit. But again, yeah, that's why this game is tricky. That's why this game is tricky. Oh. I switched the long hand to short hand. I'm gonna. That's gonna eat at me for a very long time. And I, oh, I lost. I lost. Oh wow. Uh, I might have to play this game again real quick to redeem myself with maybe me less less talking my thinking through, just because I'm having a hard time. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll just let it be. Maybe I'll let it be. I'll practice it some more. Um, I wouldn't want to lose a second time in front of the entire world. So uh, give this game a shot. I know some of you, those of you going into third grade uh, and those of you going into second grade, you both have been, you should have studied time in the past year, hopefully. Um, it's very difficult. This is a great way to practice telling time in a semi-fun way. So... Give this game a try. Let me know what you think. If it's too hard, don't worry. Move on to the next game. But you might want to keep this in mind because even if you haven't come to any time units yet, reading an analog clock, you will. And uh, it's, yeah, it'd be it's important skill to have. So until next time, I'll be the Zen.